In front of me, we have the 2024 EV9. This is fully electric from Kia. This is their first electric SUV into the market. This one right now has 379 horsepower. The wheels on this are 21 inch and the range is 489 and the price as built right now is 63K. Give you guys a walk around and tour of this SUV. The back kind of reminds me of an Escalade a little bit. This is a seven seater. They'll pull the button. Get more storage. Oh. This is the back part to charge it. You have your battery indicator right there. Show, shows you if it's charged. We have our daytime running LED. We have our two high beams and two low beams right there. Let's flush out the outside sound. So something that you'd expect from the Ionic 5, but with a little Kia touch to it. So some of the stuff isn't gonna be working right now. Wow, these actually feel very comfy, these seats. They have like this mesh headrest at the top. It's neat. Controls right here for the lumbar. Very nice. So this has 489 kilometer range. Okay, lower the seat, steering wheel. We have our drive mode selected here. So it comes with snow, eco, normal, sport. Very nice. So you have this huge center console feels very cheap actually it's gonna get scratched up you have your wireless charging pad yeah the, the whole center console feels very cheap and very clunky it's something that you'd see on a pickup truck i don't really like it a lot of plastic we have the touch screen on the dash yeah i'm not really a big fan of the plastic feel but overall i didn't design this car the infotainment is very responsive there's absolutely zero delay very nice we have all of our stuff we have valet mode Local diagnostic mode. Do you guys think this is worth 69,000 Canadian? Or do you think a Model Y long range is a better value for that price? I'm gonna honestly say buy the Model Y if you're in the market for an SUV. I like the whole design of this SUV, it's just the inside. It's not the best in quality. It feels very cheap. 
Good leg room. Storage for newspapers. We have our climb control at the top. It's very weird to have it up there. Overall, not bad for leg room. We have our storage back here. So we have two seats that are folded down right now in cargo mode. But yeah. What do you guys think? Honestly, you're better off getting a Kia Telluride than buying the EV9, just my opinion. Thanks for watching guys, take care.